With over 5 million vending machines in Japan, it's no surprise that some of them sell the most unique items you'll see anywhere. Join us as we travel all over Tokyo in hopes of finding the most unique vending machines around. While a majority of the machines look like these ones and sell ordinary items, many are located in unusual places with unusual items. One of the first unusual machines that we ran into during our Tokyo escapades was the Feed Me Orange juice vending machine. This machine takes fresh oranges and turns them into freshly squeezed orange juice. The entire process takes place in just 40 seconds. One cup of this orange juice will cost you 500 yen. After inserting your coin, you can watch as the machine does its business. Everything literally takes place right where you can see it. Once your juice is ready, pick up the paper cup Grab a paper straw from the machine, pop it in, and you can enjoy freshly squeezed orange juice. Mmm, yum! The juice was cool and refreshing. These oranges are definitely kept cool inside this machine. I enjoyed it. There is an alley located about 5 minutes from Hakiabara Station. This is where you can find the most unusual collection of vending machines. This is our next stop. The Akihabara vending machine corner is filled with various bizarre machines. This little alley is located right below someone's residence. It is literally a group of rundown vending machines, and many people refer to this area as the creepy vending machine corner. They sell the most unusual variety of items, including freshly made popcorn. That is the treasure that we go in search of in this alley. However, the popcorn machine in the front is out of order, but there are instructions on it that say that a working one is in the back. So we started going through different little areas in search of our popcorn machine holy grail. We saw machines that had toys, canned yakitori, and other interesting finds. Some of the spaces are very tight to fit into, so be careful. I think this is also one of the reasons why people refer to it as being so creepy because there's their machines literally inside that tiny, tiny space. And guess what? That is exactly where we found our popcorn vending machine. It was located all the way in the back of that tiny walkway. The popcorn machine offered three flavors, which were butter, lightly salted, and curry flavor, all for 220 yen. We decided to try the butter flavor. How this machine works is that a few corns are placed in a cup, then put into a microwave that is attached to the machine, and then voila! They're popped and turned into popcorn. The entire process of the microwave going around and around only took about a few seconds. After a 
actually finding this machine, I was a bit hesitant on whether or not I wanted to actually try eating this popcorn because we were pretty unsure about whether or not this machine was well maintained or even how long these popcorn kernels could have been sitting there waiting to be popped. Let's be honest, the entire area does not look well maintained. It's pretty run down, but I did brave it a bit and tried. I must admit, old or not, this popcorn was actually really tasty. Although we already got what we came for, we decided to move around in this alley a bit longer to see what other things they had here to offer. And it kinda just became an endless maze of randomness. There were machines that had just a random collection of things like this one here as chip star with his like potato chips. There's drink, there's um, like mystery boxes. There's corn soup, pumpkin soup, I don't know beef stew the things in this machine were there was no like dynamic theme or anything it was just a machine of things some of these random things were were just getting to me that i decided to let you hear my real-time reaction what even is this eh? is, is it like just a ball full of what, like why would you need just a ball full of just just what is it even like bells like why would you need it? And then everything in this machine is just a bit random. And then, oh, they have a bigger size to it. They have a bigger size to it here. Like, everything is so random. This is like, what, toothpaste? It's just very random. Just a plastic bulb. Yeah. And it just kept going and going and going. It was so random that it was indeed a little creepy. It has definitely earned its title as the creepy vending machine corner. Anyways, this video does not end here. So let's just head on over to our next location. I was really excited about this machine and it was my second favorite to the Feed Me Orange vending machine. Yeah. This one is number two on my list of my most favorite random vending machine that I found in Tokyo. It's a machine with canned goods and we decided to try the canned bread that was inside of it. It was 550 yen and we got the strawberry flavored canned bread. Everything about this way of selling bread kind of amused me and left me with so many questions at the same time because I wanted to know what the bread looked like inside the can. Was it baked inside the can or was it baked somewhere else then placed inside? The There's just so many questions. Let's just open this can, take a look inside and try the bread. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, it comes with an easy to open little pin at the top. So we should be able to get into that can pretty easy. Yeah. And you pull it back and Right on top there is a little preservative that they add to packages here in Japan to preserve the freshness of your product. And here comes the big reveal, our canned bread. It looks really delicious. Just looking at it already had me knowing that this bread was gonna be good. So I had to pull up most of the bread from the can to be able to access it easily so I could try it. And it was looking so soft, so soft, so moist. Okay, here's a better view of the bread. Our next machine is located right next to the Tokyo Tower. So we're gonna head on over to there right now. Yes, you've guessed right. We are going to the cake in a can vending machine. As I mentioned before, these two machines are located right where the Tokyo Tower is. Both machines sells the exact same products, so don't worry yourself. Anyone that you pick, you'll get the same at both machines. The cakes cost between 500 yen and 1080 yen. The one that we decided to get, which is the strawberry flavored cake, is 1080 yen. So let's go on ahead and load up the moolah in the machine. 
it's 1,080 yen. So we added a thousand paper, a paper thousand yen in, and now we're putting in eight 10 yen coins to make that 80 yen. We chose option one, which is the strawberry cake that we want, and bam, it was there. As soon as I was grabbing the can from the machine, I noticed that a black spoon was attached to it. So that means, yes, these cans are ready to eat right now, these canned cakes. So that's the one that we got. As you can see, it's a sponge cake, a vanilla sponge cake with strawberries inside, real strawberries, kind of like the Japanese birthday cake. Usually Japanese people eat this strawberry cake on birthdays and I always love it. So I decided to grab this one out of all the other options there. Again, easy to open can, which is just a blessing. And we're gonna pop this can open and take a look inside. Voila! I, I really liked how this cake was presented to us. That little strawberry at the top popping out is just like, hello! And I liked it. I liked it a lot. So, I grabbed my little black spoon that came with the can. And I just went right in there for the cake, like, immediately. And look at that. Mmm. Yeah, it, it was really as good as it looked. Very delicious. Just in case you couldn't tell, I plan to devour this entire cake while standing in front of this machine because it is absolutely delicious. I loved it. I love the fresh strawberries. It was such a nice added touch. Like, it's expensive, I won't lie, for what seems to be somewhat like just over a slice of cake. But if you're really feeling for cake and you're anywhere near the Tokyo Tower, just run on over and grab this canned cake. It's delicious. It was worth every yen that I popped into that machine. And how can we forget about the regular machines? Of course, this one doesn't sell unusual items. But after all that I've been eating since I started this store, I was just genuinely thirsty and decided to go and grab a bottle of water from just a regular vending machine. And just in case you were curious to know what comes in a usual vending machine in Japan, I decided to add this clip in so you can see for yourself. It's just water, orange juice, fruit juice, and Monster, which is an energy drink. Just popular things that you'll find in any convenience store or supermarket. Those are usually the drinks that you can find in drink machines here. The usual drink machines. So let's get hydrated and then head on over to our next location. So while we were moving about, we saw this snack machine at Nippori Station and decided to just see what they had to offer. Drink machines are like the biggest or the most machines that you'll see when you're in Japan. They do have a lot of snack machines, but in comparison to the drink machines, they are greatly outnumbered. So we decided to just see what was here and while I was browsing through, I noticed these truffles and decided that I just had to try them. Like who doesn't love truffles? All of the items in this machine were a bit chocolate themed and cost over 120 yen. The truffle that we decided to buy was 150 yen. So we will go ahead and put a 100 yen coin and a 50 yen coin into this vending machine and select the option for the truffles that we want. We're gonna just step outside for a minute so we can give you a better and a closer look at what is inside this bag. It looks absolutely delicious. The image on the front is telling me that what's inside should be delicious. So let's just go on ahead and open this bag and get to eating this truffle. So 
each truffle comes in an individual packaging inside that main packaging which is really great because truffles are basically like chocolate chocolate balls that has to be kept frozen or they could just melt into each other so this is good and it's also great for sharing with a friend or family relatives whoever you share your food with okay here's a closer look at it and I'm just gonna take a quick bite so you can see the inside okay after leaving Napori station we found this random machine that was selling I really want to tell you what the machine is selling but I honestly don't know what the machine is selling however it seemed to be random deer related products whatever those are anyways this machine was pretty unusual and I just had to add a clip of it inside even though we did not get anything from this particular machine Okay, so we are heading back into Akihabara for a game of chance. Our next vending machine is this random vending machine. And I say random simply because it gives you random items. Yeah, that's what they call it. Like, it's just a random machine where you put a thousand yen inside and then you get one of the many options that are displayed on this screen so for this machine you don't actually know what you're gonna get out of it you just put the money in press a button and see what you get so it's kind of like a game of chance and it's a little fun if you're into that sort of thing this machine is actually located literally a minute's walk from the Hakiabara station the machine is called the King of Treasure. Okay, so our treasure is here and I'm really curious to know what is inside because on the display, they show you many options like jewelry, electronics, just many random random items that are that are valued way beyond a thousand yen and some that are valued below a thousand yen. So it's pretty interesting to see what we will get inside this box. So after a little tussle with the tape on this box, I was finally able to get it open and see just exactly what we paid 1,000 yen for. And here's the big reveal. It seems to be a, yes, that's right, a water bottle. We paid 1,000 yen for a water bottle. <laughs> This one was actually funny to me. It was fun and funny. And then when I looked inside the box, I noticed there was something else inside. And I saw Snoopy on it, but I had no clue exactly what it was. Later on when we got home, we saw that it was a tiny Snoopy handkerchief. Anyways, right next to that same machine is a seven scrap machine. And I think this is where the real treasure lies because it's summer, it's hot, and there's a cold crepe just waiting for you. So the crepe machine, most of the items on this machine cost around 400 yen. And there is a wide variety of things that you can get from this vending machine. So here is what we got. So as you must have figured, I like strawberry themed dessert and that's what we got. We got some strawberry crepes. It was actually larger than I expected it to be. However, it was well kept, well frozen, so you don't have to worry about it melting anytime soon. And it was hard and it was really well kept, really well kept. Let's just get this packaging open so we can really show you what is inside. I know right, it already looks so delicious but just wait, wait until you see the inside of it. Yum 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 yum. I loved it. Okay so we were on our way to Shinbashi station in Tokyo when we saw this ramen machine and we thought 
why not like let's just try it's a ramen machine so we we just had to try it we just had to try it the ramen here cost between 800 yen and 1000 yen and each of these options just looks stunning they just look amazing they just look like they're gonna make your tummy happy so we went ahead and put a 100 yen bill inside this machine and waited for it to serve us some ramen glory Now here's the thing, if you're looking for something to eat right now on the go, this vending machine is not the one for you because the ramen actually comes packaged frozen. But fright not, it comes with everything you need to make this meal complete and it also has instructions inside the packaging that will tell you how to make this meal hot and ready. So here's the one that we actually got. And we got a bonus clip just for you. While we were at this machine buying ramen so we could head home and prepare it, we noticed that the same vending machine that was right there next to the ramen machine had like a charging port where you could pay and get like a power bank to charge up your devices. Anyways, goodbye for now. See you in the next one.